Hi everyone, my name is Siri, and I'm going to be your tutor for this year. So this is Tadpoles, which is kindergarten through first grade, and this is going to be our first lesson on addition. So as I said, our first lesson is going to be on addition. So hopefully everybody knows how to add. So let's first work on adding. So to add, we take, so say there's, here's an example problem. You take, you have one cookie plus another cookie and your friend gives you another cookie. How many cookies do you have? So you have your one cookie and then your friend gives you another cookie. So now how many cookies do we have? We have two cookies. Now let's do another example. A little bit harder this time. You have one building block and your friend gives you three more building blocks. One, two, three. So this is your one building block plus your friend's three building blocks, which should give you four because we have one, oops, that was the Siri one. We have one, two, three, four all together. So that is some simple addition. Now let's do some practice. So our first problem is one plus 10. So we have 10 building blocks and then our friend gives us one more. So how many building blocks do we have? What's one plus 10? It would be 11. The next problem, this is zero so anytime we add anything to zero, it should be the same number. Whoops, sorry. So if you have 18 building blocks and your friend doesn't give you anything, then you still have 18 building blocks. Next is, this is a 2-1 addition problem. So for these addition problems, we have to do the first column, here is column number one, first. So eight plus six is 14. Because if you have eight building blocks, let's draw stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then your friend gives you an additional six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now how many stars do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14 building blocks. So there we have the four. We put the four over here. And then we take the one from the four and we put it on top of the next number. So now we add these two numbers. So one star plus another star makes two stars. So thus we put the two over here on this side. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions at any time, just unmute and ask me. I know this is a video recording, but um, she'll be happy to answer. So this is the same concept, except this time we don't have a double digit number when we add these two. So first we work always right to left. So we work from this side to this side. So two plus four. We have two stars 
plus our friend gives us four stars. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six stars. So we put a six right here. And since there's nothing over here in this column but the one, we just bring the one all the way down. Next problem, nine plus two. So we have nine stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus an additional two, one, two. And that should give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stars. So we have eleven over here. Now we have two double digit numbers. So which column do we do first? Yes, we do our right column first. Remember, we always do this side first, and then we go to this side. So our first one, 6 plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus our friend gives us 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. So now we're going to count all the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have a total of 14 on this side. So 14. We only take this one and we put it down here. We carry the tens place. This is called the tens place. This is the ones place. We carry the tens place and we put it on top of this column. So now we're going to work on our last column. Whoops, that was scary. We have, a, we have three ones. A one plus a one plus a one. So you have one star. Your friend gives you another star, and your other friend gives you one more star. How many stars do you have? You have one, two, three. You have three stars. So there, we put the three over here. Now we have 34. For this one, we do nine plus seven first, this column. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus an additional seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. We have a total of 16. Remember, we put only the ones place over here, and then we carry the tens place on top of this one. Next, we do our left-hand column, and we have two ones. If you have one star, and then your friend gives you one star, you have two stars. So we put the two over here. Now we have 26 as our answer. Now this one's easy because anything plus zero is just gonna be itself. So this basically doesn't have a value. So we just put the six down here and then there's nothing with the one in this column. So we just bring it back down. This one's easy because there's no double digit numbers resulting from it, so we don't have to carry anything over. So we're going to do this column first, and 5 plus 3. We have 5 stars, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus your friend brings over 3. 1, 
two, three. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars. So we put the eight underneath that one, underneath this column. And then our next column, we have two ones. You have one star and your friend gives you another one. So you now have two. And we put the two over here. Pretty easy, right? So we're gonna do this column first. Two plus five, one, two stars, plus five stars. One, two, three, four, five. That makes a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we put the seven in this column, and then the one's all alone over here, so we just bring it down. Now I'm gonna let you guys work on these 15 problems by yourself, and then come back here with the answers, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so you should be done by now. So now we're gonna go through the answers. Here, this answer is seven. This one's 20. This one's 21. This one's 14. This one is 21. This one is 22, 30. 16, 26, 2, 23, 26, 4, 32, 13. Here are the answers. Check your work and see what you have. Now we have more than a couple of columned addition problems. So I'm gonna do the first 10 with you and then pause the video and then you're gonna work on the last three rows and then I'll show you the answer. So the first problem is five plus zero plus zero plus eight. So as we said before, the zeros don't have any value. So we don't have to mind them. So now we just have five plus eight. We have one, two, three, four, five stars. And then our friend gives us eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stars. Now for this one, it's the same thing. I might just do two problems this time to kind of let you guys work on it by yourselves. So eight plus seven plus nine plus two. So we're gonna go two at a time. So let's do these two first. Eight plus seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight stars plus another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That makes a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen stars. Next, we're gonna do the next two numbers. We're gonna do nine and two. Nine plus two. So we have two stars. And our friend gives us nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9. That makes a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stars. Now we're going to take these two numbers and multiply them. So 15 plus 11. So we always do the right hand column first. 5 plus 1, we have 1 star and our friend gives us 5. That's 6 stars. And then the next column, we have two ones. If I have one star and I give you my one star and you already have one star, you now have two stars. So our answer would be 26. So now that we went over those, I'm going to give you some time to work on, let's do... these eight problems.
Pause the video and then come back. Okay, so here are the answers for the eight problems that you did. Check your work and if you have any questions, just ask. So we went over that stuff, that's pretty easy. Now, here are some horizontal problems. So there's two ways of doing it. There's the vertical problem method, which looks like uh, this, like six plus eight, which is lined up this way, or you can also do it, you might see it this way. So we're gonna teach you how to do both ways. So for this problem, Let's do a little easier one. Let's do 28 plus four. So the way to do this is you're taking the one in the ones place. So you might be wondering what's the ones place and what's the tens place that this person is talking about. So for example, we have the number 28. Eight is in the ones place and the two is in the tens place. So that's what I'm talking about. So we take the numbers that are in the ones place. So eight is in the ones place over here and four is in the ones place over here. We add those together. Eight plus four, that's two. So we put the two over here, but it's 12. So we carry over the one. 12 is our answer. We put this one over here, but then what about this one? What about this one? We put that one on top of this 10. So now we do one plus two, which is three. And 32 is our answer. Next, we have this problem. We are gonna do the ones place in both, which is these two numbers. Five plus nine is nine. And then we do the tens place. This is the tens place of this one, and this is the tens place of this one, which is another nine. So thus, the answer is 99. I'm going to give you guys these four problems to work on. So pause the video and then come back.
So hopefully you did those four problems. And here is the answers. And if you at any point have any questions and want me to work on them, just by all means let me let me know. So I think we worked on this one. So we're pretty good with this. Actually, no, no, no. Let's do this one. So this one's a little bit different. These, this will show us three-digit number answers. So let's do this one. It's the same. Uh, it's the same as all of the other ones, just um, more. So we first work on this column. The 6 plus 1 is 7. Then we do 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5, you, I have 5 stars. You have 5, you give me 5 stars. Now, I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stars. So I put the 10 right over here. Now for this one, we work on this column. That seven plus two is nine. And then we work on this column. Seven plus six is 13. And then 139 is our answer. So I'm going to give you guys these two problems to work on, pause the video, and then come back. Okay, so those an two answers are this. If you have questions, please ask. Okay, so now we're going to fill in this addition table. This is going to help us out with our addition skills. So basically how this table works is we're going to go like this for each number. So here is 1 plus 1, 2. 
1, 1 plus 2 is 3. That's already there. Now, let's do this row first. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. That's already filled in for us. 1 plus 8 is 9. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. 1 plus 11 is 12. There's our first filled in row. We're going to do the same thing with all the other rows. So we're going to go like this now to each of these numbers up there. 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 2, 4. 2 plus 3, 5. 2 plus 4, 6. 2 plus 5, 7. 2 plus 6, 8. 2 plus 7, 9. 2 plus 8, 10. 2 plus 9, 11. 2 plus 10, 12. 2 plus 11, 13. 2 plus 12 is 14. 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 2, 5. 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 4, 7. 3 plus 5, 8. We already got that filled in. 3 plus 9, 6, 9. 3 plus 10, 7, 10. 3 plus 8, 11. 3 plus 9, 12. 3 plus 10, 13. 3 plus 11, 14. 3 plus 12, 15. Now, as you can see in this addition table, they're all only going by ones. To get from 2 to 3, it's by 1. To get from 3 to 4, it's 1. So this is an easy way to fill out our addition table. We just keep increasing it by 1. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What comes after 11? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. For this run, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. For this one, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And you might notice another one. Even in the columns, they're only increasing by increments of 1. So everything is basically just increasing by 1. You increase by 1 this way, and you increase by 1 this way. Let's keep going. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there is our addition table all filled out. If you have any questions, just ask at this moment. And then our last page is these addition dots. So this is basically what I covered except with circles instead of stars. 
So let's count the dots. We have, let's use red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen dots. This one has seven. Seven plus ten makes seventeen. And that's basically what we're doing for all of them. So we know that th these two look the same, right? So this must also contain 10 dots. This is 10 plus 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is our answer. I'm going to let you guys do the rest of the problems individually and then come back to check the answers. Here are the answers. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you like, if you need to miss the class, or even if you just have questions, here is my email. So if you need anything at all, please just email me there. It was so nice meeting you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.